Hi, my name is Jamie Rue, and today I'm going to talk about the publishing industry. So most of this information I've had for a couple of years now, but I didn't want to make a video about it because I did not feel qualified to be the one delivering that information. Since I started an internship at a literary agency, I am confident that this is accurate-ish information, so um, this is how to get traditionally published, sorta. Not a guarantee, obviously, like just because you follow these steps doesn't mean that you're going to get magically published, but these are generally the steps of how to get published. A super long time ago, probably, you could just send your book to a publisher and have it be published maybe if they liked your book. That's not how it works anymore because there are a lot of people who write books and that's not an exaggeration. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people who write books. In order to get your foot in the door now, what you need to do is prove that your book is good, prove that your book will sell, and the number of books that get published is astronomically small in comparison to the number of books that are written. And that's just something that I need to get out of the way and something that you need to understand if you want to get published. So you can't just send your book to a publisher. The publisher will not read it. They will throw it away. I'm not even joking. So don't do that. If you want to get traditionally published, if you want a shot with anyone like Penguin or uh, Harper Collins, Macmillan, if you want a shot at any of those, you gotta get an agent. And that is how you get published traditionally. So there are really three steps to this. Write a book, query an agent, have the agent to market your book. That's how it works. That's the only way to get published traditionally unless you're like a celebrity, in which case, you know, don't you're not even watching this video, so it doesn't matter. So first of all, write your book. That kind of seems like a no-brainer, but I don't know, some people query agents and they've written like half their book and they're like, oh yeah, my book, can you represent me? And it's like, no, because give me your full book. So first of all, have your full book. A long time ago, you could submit a book that wasn't the greatest and still have it be published because they'd assign you an editor and have you work together, but that's very rare now. That'll only happen if you have like the best idea of the century, which, you know, there are no original ideas anymore. I'm sorry. To Break that to you but like nothing is original my idea is not original your idea is not original nothing's original anymore everything's been done before it's just a matter of do you do it better than some other people do and that's okay that just means that in order for you to get your foot in the door your manuscript has to be very very good it has to be almost exactly how one of these books will look on the shelf. You need to have it be very polished, with very few typos, with no plot holes, with very little like, really weird absurdity or like just things that you don't want in a book. It has to be basically how it will look when it is published. That means getting beta readers, that means not writing your book for NaNoWriMo and sending it in the month after. That means a lot of things. Make sure there aren't any really glaring mistakes like hence inconsistencies, make sure the dialogue is natural, make sure that your book is something that might actually make the agency money because that's the kind of thing that they take. Don't follow trends, that's a bad idea because people will hop on a bandwagon and agents may or may not take you but those books tend to die down very quickly and so agents don't always want that. Every once in a while they do, but generally don't follow trends. Write what you want to write and make sure that it's good. That's your first step. That's going to take a long, long, long time, probably. It might not take you like 20 years, it might not take you five years, but it'll take you probably more than two months, you know? So like when your novel is ready, that is when you begin to try to query agents. If you are anything like I was about two years ago, you have no idea what query an agent means. That's okay. I'm about to tell you. Again, if you want to get traditionally published, you need an agent so they can market around your book to editors and to like publishers, basically. They are your way in to traditional publishing. They're the first filtering system, basically, because they have determined that your book is good enough for publication. It's just that now agents need to convince other people of that. So how you query an agent is you write a query letter. This is a very specific format and try not to deviate from this. Also keep in mind though, every agent requires their own thing for queries. Some don't want a query letter, most of them do. Some don't want excerpts from your novel, a lot of them do. It's anywhere from 5 to 25 to 50 pages that they want. Accordingly, format however much 
of your novel that you're sending people. Do it how they ask you to. If they want the excerpt of your novel in a Word document, give it to them in a Word document. If they want it in the body of the email, give it to them in the body of the email. If they want your query letter in an email and not a Word document, do that. That will help your novel get looked at. If you don't follow their guidelines, they will not look at you. Make sure that it is right. So query letters, this is generally how they look. Dear blank, in the blank generally goes the agent's name. Most agencies require that you query only one agent at a time. You cannot choose to query Bob and then Mary at the same time, you know? They might say that if you query Bob and then Bob doesn't like it, then you can query Mary after that, but generally one person. Choose one person, choose a person who is into the type of books that you are trying to market. If you wrote a YA fantasy and the person you're trying to query only likes thrillers, you know, that's just not gonna work. Make sure you look at what they want. Every agency has people that do different things. Some agencies only take certain types of things. I've seen agencies that only do nonfiction. I've seen agencies that only do fiction. I've seen agencies that only do children's books. Look it up. Make sure you query the appropriate people. So dear agent's name, I thought you might be interested in this book because you are interested in this type of book or because you re have represented these people in the past. Then you give a synopsis of your book. By synopsis, I don't mean like give me the plot summary of your book and like everything that happens. Not necessary, unless they say that they want that. Rarely do they want that. Normally, if they like your excerpt, they might ask you for a plot summary and might ask you for your complete manuscript along with the plot summary, but don't just send like a plot summary. They want a synopsis, and by synopsis, I mean, you know when you open up a published book, like it's a hardcover and you look inside and on the inside flap, it says like, this is what the book's about. Write one of those for your book. I know that's not easy, write one. You never want a query letter to be more than like a page. Don't make it super long, it's a page, that's it. Synopsis, then title of your book is a blank number of words book that will appeal to readers of etc etc like name some authors or some books that are similar to yours those are like comparison titles and they're totally normal it might feel weird to compare yourself to someone like Cassandra Clare or Rick Riordan and that might be weird but if your book will appeal to those types of readers you know that's fine it won't come across as like super cocky unless you're like I'm the next James Joyce that comes across as cocky don't say that your book is gonna sell a million copies you want to make sure that you are being realistic about what type of people will read your book but assuming that you've written a YA fantasy and it's an urban fantasy and whatever people who read Cassandra Clare books might like your book you know? So choose some appropriate titles to comp title and um, then s brief bio. I mean like two sentences. I am currently working as blank. I have published this before if you've published anything. I mean if you publish like in a literary magazine, if you've published like the New York Times, if you publish at the Times probably like you'll have less trouble getting your foot through the door but like whatever, stuff like that that's the bio it's like two sentences three sentences whatever sincerely your name that's what a query letter generally looks like it might differ based on agency some of them might require different things but that's about it then you know your excerpt is however long it, they ask for cut it off at like a point that makes sense for you to cut it off don't just like leave off in the middle of nowhere if they ask you for 10 pages and your first chapter is seven pages just give them the first chapter give them around what they asked for and that's something that you're going to want to determine and it's going to be different for every single agency again so let's say you query the agent you send your excerpt they like it. They email you back. Almost all of them take by email, by the way. It's all by email. Don't just like mail your novel to somebody. They're not going to look at it. So let's say they email you back and they want the full manuscript and or a plot summary. Send it. Make sure you're respectful and they will read it and eventually get back to you about whether or not they want to take the book. Now, if they don't want to take the book, which is what happens most of the time, query other people. This process can take years and I mean years. Like, People query for years and years and years and don't get anything. And that indicates that something's wrong with your book and probably you need to change something. But let's say you don't have to go back to step one and make sure your novel's perfect. Let's say step two worked and you got an agent. Next, what your agent does is they take your book, you sign up, you sign a contract, uh, signing up with the agency, and you are now being represented by this agent. What they do is they go around and they market your book to potential publishers and you know 
assuming your book is good enough, someone will take it. If they don't want it, generally um, people decide either to put the novel aside or to be represented by a different person or something like that. Like, I'm not super familiar with contracts at the moment. If you get to that point, you and your agent will discuss it. Almost all agencies, I think every agency actually, don't, don't go to an agency that doesn't do this. Getting an agent is free. If you are asking them to represent you, you shouldn't be paying them. If you're signing onto an agency and they ask you for money, that's a red flag. That's like most agencies don't do that. Generally, the deal is if they sell your book, they make a commission off your work. It's like 5%, 15%, whatever, I don't really know. But when you sign that contract, there is something in there that says, you don't need to pay me until I sell your book and your book is making money. That's when I get paid and that's when you get paid. That's how it works. If it's not like that, that's a problem. Don't don't sign on to that agent. But assuming that that all works out and your agent can market your book to a publisher, you're published or like on the road to being published anyway. But that is generally speaking how to get published. Now my word isn't gospel and it's not concrete. This could change in the future. That's how to get published in today's market in like 2018 market. It might end up being slightly different for you but this is roughly how to do it. Again, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get published for sure. A lot of people don't. A lot of people never make it past the querying point. And you know, that just, it happens. I read someone's manuscript the other day and they said that they had worked on it for 20 years, but it just wasn't good. And so even if you've worked for 20 years, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get published. Like time does not equal good. And that's something to keep in mind. I wish you all the luck in the world if you were attempting to get published. Hopefully someone will take you on. Again, this applies to traditional publishing specifically. If you wanna go self-publishing, I have no advice for you. I know nothing about self-publishing. If you have any questions, leave them in comments below. And um, I don't know, we'll talk, but uh, I gotta go, all right, bye.